Life and Times of Michael Kay is a novel by the South African writer J. M. Coetzee, first published in 1983. Telling the story of the eponymous Michael Kay, it details his difficult childhood and his dangerous journey from Cape Town to the rural village where his mother was born during a fictional civil war that broke out during the apartheid era. Exploring themes such as the value of life, the complex relationships between mothers and sons, the passage of time, the effects of war, and the role of race in South African society, Life and Times of Michael Kay has been compared to Franz Kafka's The Trial. Due to similarities between the protagonists and the arduous frustrating nature of their journeys. Critically acclaimed, it is considered one of the best South African novels of the apartheid era and won the Booker Prize in 1983. Split into three parts, Life and Times of Michael Kay follows a man who was born into poverty with a cleft lip. He grew up in institutions and currently works as a gardener in Cape Town. He tends to his mother, who works as a housekeeper for a wealthy family, but their simple life is upended when the country is embroiled in civil war as people rebel against the apartheid regime, which responds with military force. Martial law is imposed at the same time that Michael's mother becomes very sick. He decides to quit his job and flee the city with his mother so she can return to her birthplace, which she always told him was the small town of Prince Albert on the Western Cape. However, he can't obtain the proper permits for official travel out of the city. He builds a makeshift rickshaw to carry his mother and they start on their journey. However, it's not long before his mother's condition deteriorates and she dies in a hospital. He takes her ashes, not quite sure what to do next. Ultimately, he decides to continue on his journey and take her ashes to her hometown so she can rest there. Along the way, he's stopped by police and detained for not having the proper travel papers. He's assigned to a work detail on a railway track. After finishing his sentence on the railway track, Michael makes his way to Prince Albert and finds the farm his mother told him she grew up on. The farm is in ruins, but he settles there and begins to learn how to live off the land. Not long afterwards, a relative of the farm's owner shows up. He allows Michael to stay, but treats him like a servant. Michael decides to move on, escaping into the mountains. Living in the mountains, Michael nearly starves to death while he becomes acquainted to his new way of life. Malnourished, he wanders down into a nearby town, where he's picked up by the police for vagrancy and sent to a work camp. There, he meets a man named Robert, a longtime inmate. Robert tells him that the workers in the camp are exploited for cheap labor by the town. Soon, Prince Albert is attacked by the rebel forces and the residents of the work camp are blamed. The local police captain takes over the town and Michael escapes during the chaos that ensues. He finds his way back to the farm but finds the house claustrophobic. He decides to build a shelter out in the open where he can tend to his small garden. Rebels pass through and use his garden for food, and although Michael wants to protest, he stays in hiding. He stays in hiding until he's starving again, and when he finally comes out he's found by soldiers and taken to a segregated rehabilitation camp in Cape Town. At the camp, a doctor becomes fascinated by Michael's simple nature and believes that he's been falsely accused of helping the rebels. Michael is confused by his new surroundings and refuses to eat, leading him to become sick and delirious. The doctor tries to get Michael to eat, hoping to understand him better, but before the doctor can get him released, Michael escapes on his own. On the streets, Michael meets a group of nomadic people who give him food. He has sex for the first time with a woman who is part of the group. This awakens his sexuality, and walking the streets afterwards he notices attractive women. He eventually makes his way back to the apartment in Cape Town where he and his mother lived, the very same place he tried so hard to escape. He thinks back to the small garden he tended in Prince Albert, where he was happiest. John Maxwell Coetzee, best known as J.M. Coetzee, is a South African novelist, essayist, and linguist. Currently living in Australia, he is the recipient of the 2003 Nobel Prize in Literature and is also a winner of the Jerusalem Prize, a two-time winner of the Booker Prize, and a three-time winner of the CNA Prize. The author of 13 novels and a wide array of short fiction, memoirs, and literary criticism, he is politically active and well known for his advocacy for animal rights. I hope you enjoy this video leave a like, if you didn't be sure to subscribe for more lore thank you all so much for your support.